All right, y'all, before we get into this list, I just wanted you to know that this video has been sponsored by the good people at Anime vs. Cartoons. They sent me this sweet shirt. I'm trying to get this uh, Battle Scar one. Hold on, feel me real quick. I'm gonna be real with you. They sell out pretty fast. So if you're trying to get one, you need to hurry up because if not for this ad, I probably wouldn't even have the shirt that I got on. But as you can see, they clean. Support the homies. Guys, girls, kids, adults. They make a little something for everybody. Check it out. And get them to send me another shirt. Let's get back to this video. All right, so I wanted to make a list of my top 10 most underrated MCU movie scenes. Now, don't expect to see none of the um, everybody's favorites like the Captain America swinging Thor's hammer. He's a friend from work. We know each other. He's a friend from work. I want to go like deep cuts with this one. Nah, not really that deep. It's not like it's these is movies that we haven't all seen, but just stuff that I think was pretty commendable. So starting at number 10, I'm gonna go with Black Panther does not care about Hawkeye. Remember in the, the big uh, airport fight scene in Civil War, where the two hero teams, Cap's team and Iron Man's team kind of clash, and <laughs> in the middle of the fight, everybody's kind of catching up, seeing who's who, what's what, what, you, what you've been up to. And then, this is the first time Black Panther meets Hawkeye, and he, for whatever reason, felt like he should introduce himself to Black Panther. <laughs> We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. And then he says this. I don't care. It's pretty self-explanatory. I just thought the disrespect was like top notch. And it echoed my sentiment of, I don't really care about Hawkeye. <laughs> I felt like that's kind of an ongoing theme for um, the rest of the movies. Number nine. Now, to me, I feel like I'm the only one to even like this movie in general for some reason, because the more and more I hear other people talk about it, it's rated very, very poorly. But Iron Man versus War Machine. Iron Man get drunk, and then his homeboy gotta come over, steal his robot suit, and beat him up in front of his uh, people real quick. I he was making a fool out of everybody and this was the first and last time that war machine did anything notable in the entire mcu granted he was drunk wasn't uh he wasn't in, in rare form or nothing but it was, it was worth it. De definitely a, a, a standout scene for me. Okay, so this is number eight. The Drax invisibility scene. Oh, dude. How long have you been standing there? An hour. An hour? My man Drax. First of all, I could have went with almost any number of Drax the Destroyer scenes. But my favorite, when my man convinced himself that he could be so quiet that he would in turn become invisible? I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. Watch. You, you're eating a Zarg nut. But my movement was so slow that it's imperceptible. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm invisible. Hi, Drax. Brilliant comedy. Number seven. This is one that um, I remember in the theater. I don't. I don't think nobody else was as shocked as I was. But remember the whole Soul Stone scene with um, Thanos and Gamora. Come, Thanos, son of Alas. Gamora, 
Daughter of Thanos. When the dude showed up in the uh, Emperor Palpatine hoodie and stepped out of the shadow and it was Red Skull. We all think that at first. We are all wrong. I was in that mug like this. We are all wrong. I don't know why that was so shocking to me. I guess it was because I had just completely forgotten about Red Skull. He was in a movie that was almost 10 years ago at this point. So it's like, I ain't thinking about that. All right, number six. Captain America pulls a helicopter to the ground. This, this scene kind of got lost in the mix of all of the other outstanding scenes from that movie but let me tell you why this is criminally underrated for me because captain america a lot like batman at least coming up the comic books explained him to be at peak physical human condition there is no such human in the history of mankind that could pull a helicopter in full flight to the ground now, that's completely ridiculous it don't make sense but was it sweet absolutely number five now this was I would have to say one of the darkest moments in the MCU and it again was in a the scene in the movie that had so many high points that people just seem to forget about it but remember when and it this was in Endgame not Infinity War yeah it was in Endgame when Thanos had a nebula with all her robot parts like stretched out her head That was wild. It just, it really showed how far he was willing to go, even if it was at the expense of his own children or the closest he has to children. Where is the soul stone? Your, your boy, he was out of his mind. Let's go to number four. But Captain America fights Ultron. Oh, the comfort. Stop. Again, Captain America has absolutely no business fighting Ultron. But he did it anyway. <laughs> why this was such a uh, a big scene to me because in the scene they told him you you can't um you're not a match for him cap thanks Martin. <laughs> but he, he held it down cap can you keep him occupied <sighs> what do you think i've been doing number three the introduction to korg allow me to introduce myself my name is korg i'm kind of like the leader in here over here pile of rocks waving at you this dude was hilarious oh thought want to use a big wooden fork yeah not really useful unless you're fighting off three vampires that were huddled together when when my boy showed up in the uh the locker room of the gladiator arena or whatever talking to thor that was that was some um a1 banter. Oh, well, I tried to start a revolution but didn't print enough pamphlets, so hardly anyone turned up except for my mum and her boyfriend, who I hate. But I'm actually organizing another revolution. I don't know if you'd be interested in something like that. Do you reckon you'd be interested? Going to number two. Same movie, different scene. I'm going the convo between 
the Hulk and Thor when they uh already had their big battle. Don't kick stuff! You're being a really bad friend! You bad friend! You know what we call you? No. We call you the stupid Avenger. You're a tiny Avenger! <laughs> what are you crazy? Yes! Just hearing Hulk speak in a in a just a complete conversation instead of just Hulk smash or rawr or whatever dumb thing he normally says. This time it wasn't like he was just dropping gems or nothing, but he 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 really had some uh some steam to get off, and it showed that him and Thor, even though they they get into these fist fights, they they boys. I'm sorry, I said those things. You're not the stupid Avenger, and no, nobody calls you the stupid Avenger. It's okay. Just can't go around throwing shields at people. Could have killed me. I know. I'm sorry. I just got so angry all the time. Oh, always, always angry. Well, we're the same, you and I. We're just a couple of hot-headed fools. Yeah, same. same. Hulk like fire. Mm. Thor like water. Mm. Oh, kind of both like fire. But Hulk like real fire. Hulk like raging fire. Thor like smoldering fire. <laughs> They boys deep down. Number one, and this is almost good enough to jump off of the underrated list. This is one of my favorite scenes just in a superhero movie. In Spider-Man Homecoming, you got Michael Keaton is uh, the vulture and Spider-Man likes the uh, black girl at school. He goes to her house to pick her up for the for the homecoming dance or whatever it is. And then from behind the door, Michael Keaton again. He must be Peter. Yeah. And it was like. I remember being in a theater when that, when they moved that door and the vulture was this black girl's daddy, the whole thing. Was like, oh. That was one of the only times I remember in a, uh, just going to see a Marvel movie where the crowd reacted to something that wasn't an action scene. And um, pretty big reaction. I mean, at least for the however many people was in that theater that I went to, we all. Oh. I'm not gonna forget that one. I want more of those moments in the MCU. Like, of, of course, you want the, the big uh, beatdowns and all of that, but if we could get some more like shockers story wise like that, no pun intended. I wasn't sure about this thing at first. I'd definitely take it. Those are my top 10 most underrated MCU movie scenes. Let me know in the comments which ones you think are underrated. Give me something that I might have forgot on this list. What's your favorite scene that not everybody talks about? I want to hear it. Let me know. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. We are still doing the 10K giveaway. It will be the Nintendo Switch. As advertised on Instagram, if you made uh, the mistake of clicking that ad. Um, I'll see you next week.